Hello and welcome to CNC World's special coverage of China's military parade to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the victory of the Chinese People's War of Resistance against Japanese aggression and the world anti-fascist war. was an important part of the world anti-fascist war and China made significant contribution to the victory of World War II and to safeguard world And of course we have Russian President Vladimir Putin. Well, Russia was the main European battlefield and China was the main Asian battlefield of the Second World War. The two sides are determined to safeguard the result of the war and maintain world peace and justice. Russian most foreign dignitaries who have visited China, who have visited Beijing, are quite familiar with this ancient architecture. But again, a position on the Tiananmen rostrum to inspect the military is, a, is considered a top standard of reception for foreign guests. The last military parade of this scale was in 2009 to mark the 60th anniversary of the founding of the People's Republic of China. And this is the first time that such a military parade... Peace will prevail. The people will prevail. The honor guards of this regiment also took part in Russia's Victory Day parade in May, were the first to march in Moscow's Red Square. The representatives of veterans of the Red Army of the Soviet Union, their descendants also attending the commemoration 70 years ago in the Union War. 35 millimeter self propelled anti aircraft gun has many impressive characteristics, including rapid firing speed, high on target accuracy, and strong anti -inter interference. Major General Liu Mingbao is leading the first formation of surface-to-air missile. The HQ-9 is capable of countering saturation attacks, operating in a complex electromagnetic environment and intercepting multiple airstrike weapons. We have the second formation of surface-to-air missiles. It is led by Major General Pan Guohai. The HQ-12 surface-to-air missile is China's mid-to-high altitude air defense weapon. The HQ-6A is China's new generation terminal defense armor. And coming right up is the shipborne attack module, consisting of three formations. Major General Wang Xinjian is leading the formation of ship to air missiles. The shipborne anti aircraft missiles are capable of covering a large sea, large area.
countering multiple attacks and strong in anti interference Following behind is the formation of anti-ship missiles led by Major General Liu Gengqun. They are the key players in maritime combat and are an effective means for defending sovereignty, maritime rights and interests and are the features of a modern maritime defense system. This is the formation of shore-to-ship missiles led by Major General Zhou Xuming. The shore-to-ship missiles have excellent mobility, strong penetration, long attacking range, and are extremely powerful. There are six formations for the strategic strike module, including the second artillery force. This is the formation of conventional missiles DF-15B and DF-16. Formation is led by Major General Shen Guoqiang. They are the weapon of choice for conducting short range precision strikes. Here comes the second formation of conventional missiles, led by Major General Li Jin. The DF-21D is a land-based anti-ship ballistic missile. It serves as one of China's important weapons in asymmetric warfare. Third formation of conventional missiles led by Major General Yu Chao. CJ-10 cruise missile is capable of stealth penetration, compound guidance, consecutive attacks, and high precision to inflict powerful damage. It is one of China's main battle armaments. Here comes the formation of missiles for both nuclear and conventional use. It's led by Major General Xue Jinfeng. The DF-26 can conduct medium to long range precise attacks on key ground targets and large to medium naval ships. It is China's new weapon in its strategic deterrent system.
And this is the first formation of nuclear missiles. It is led by Major General Wang Bingfang. What we are seeing now is DF-31A, a solid propelled intercontinental ballistic missile. The DF-31A, it is important strategic armament in maintaining national security and world peace. And here comes the second formation of nuclear missiles led by Major General Zhang Mingguo. The DF-5B is an intercontinental ballistic missile. It is a shield in the defense of national sovereignty. And here comes the unmanned aerial vehicle formation led by Major General Li Tiantian. The UAV unit provides new means for the military to handle diversified tasks. Multifunctional, covering reconnaissance, guides, strikes, strategies, campaigns, and tactics. Lieutenant General Zheng Qingliang is the commander. The Bai aerobatic team is flying the J-10 fighters. All for our special coverage of China's military parade to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the victory of the Chinese People's War of Resistance Against Japanese Aggression and the end of World War II. For more on the commemorations, stay tuned on CNC World. And you can also find out more on YouTube at New China TV and our website, en.cncnews.cn. I'm Xie Le in Beijing. On behalf of all our team at CNC World, thank you for being with us. Bye for now.